Uh, Pre-tripping, so front of the bus. First thing I do when I approach my bus is I'm going to look underneath the bus for any puddles that can indicate a leak in the engine compartment. I'm gonna check my bumper to make sure it's level. If it's not level, that could indicate a flat tire or broken suspension. Next, I'm gonna check my two tow hooks to make sure they are securely mounted. They're not cracked or broken. I'm gonna check my bumper to make sure it's securely mounted. All the hardware is present. It's not bent or broken. Next, I'm gonna come up to my three clearance lights. On top, I'm gonna to make sure they're securely mounted. All the hardware is present and they're not cracked or broken or discolored. Next, I'm gonna come down to my school bus reflective tape. I'm gonna make sure it's clean and clear. It's not ripped or torn or missing. Next, I'm gonna check my amber warning lights and my red student stop lights. I'm gonna make sure they're securely mounted. All the hardware is present. They're not cracked, broken, or discolored. Next, I'm gonna come down to my windshield. I'm gonna make sure um, it's not cracked or broken. I'm gonna check the rubber seal around the windshield, making sure it's not ripped or torn. There's no chunks missing. Next, I'm gonna come down to my windshield wipers. I'm gonna make sure they're securely mounted. They're not bent or broken. The rubber on the blades is not ripped or torn, and that they have proper tension. Next, I'm gonna come down to my turn signals, my upper and lower turn signals. I'm gonna make sure they're securely mounted. All the hardware is present. They're not cracked, broken, or discolored. Next, I'm gonna come down to my headlights, making sure they're securely mounted and they're not cracked or broken. Next, I'm gonna come around to my driver's side mirror, making sure it's securely mounted. All the hardware is present. They're not cracked or broken. Next, I'm gonna come up to my driver's side crossover mirror. I'm gonna make sure it's securely mounted. All the hardware is present and they're not cracked or broken. Next, I'll come over here to my passenger side crossover mirror, making sure it's securely mounted. All the hardware is present. It's not cracked or broken. Next, I'll check my passenger side mirror, making sure it's securely mounted. All the hardware is present and they're not cracked or broken. Next, I will check the engine compartment. I will check the engine compartment from the passenger side. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna check in the engine compartment is my coolant reservoir. I'm gonna make sure it's securely mounted. It's not cracked, broken, or leaking. It's at the proper fill line and that all attached hoses are secured and not leaking. Next, I'm gonna check my upper and lower radiator hoses, upper and lower radiator hoses, making sure they're securely mounted. They're not ripped, torn, or leaking. Next, I'm gonna come and check my windshield washer fluid reservoir. I'm gonna make sure it's securely mounted. Uh, it's not cracked, broken, or leaking. It's at the proper fill line. All attached lines are secured as well and not leaking. Next, I'm gonna check my transmission fluid dipstick. I will check this fluid at operating temperature and make sure it's at the proper fill line. Next, I will come down and I will check my frame. I will make sure um, it's not bent or broken. All the holes are factory holes. There's no illegal welds. Next, I will check my leaf springs. I will check the front and the rear leaf spring mounts. I will make sure they're securely bolted on. They're not cracked or broken. I'll check my flat leaf springs um, across the bottom here, the flat part. I'll make sure it's not bent. There's no scissoring and that they are not bent or broken. I'll check my two U-bolts to make sure they're in place and they're secure. They're not cracked or broken. Next, I will check my shock absorber. 
to make sure it's securely mounted. It's not cracked, broken, or leaking. Next, I will check my brake line to make sure uh, it's securely mounted. It's not ripped, torn, or leaking. I'll check the caliper as well, the brake caliper, making sure it's secure, it's not cracked or leaking. Next, I will come around and I will check my brake disc or rotor to make sure that it's not cracked or broken. There's no bluing that would indicate excessive wear. I will also check my brake pads to make sure there's at least one quarter inch of pad remaining. And I'm gonna come back to the inside. I'm gonna check my inner rim, the inside of the metal rim to make sure it's not bent or broken. I'll check the inside of my tire for abrasions, bubbles, or cuts, ABC, abrasions, bubbles, or cuts. I'll check the top of my tire to make sure it's wearing evenly and that there is at least four 30 seconds of tread depth. I'll check the outside of my tire to make sure there's no abrasions, bubbles, or cuts. I'll check the outside of my rim to make sure there's no cracks, there's no illegal welds, it's not bent or broken. I'll check my lug nuts to make sure they're all in place. Um, I'll make sure that there's no shiny metal or rust trails on the threads that might indicate a stripped lug. I'll check my hub seal, make sure it's in place and there's no excessive leaking. I'll check my valve stem to make sure it's not bent, broken, it's not leaking. I will use this valve stem to check the tire pressure, make sure I've got at least 100 PSI in my tire. I will also check my mud flap to make sure it's secure in place, it's not ripped or missing. Now I will go to the driver's side. So I will check the driver's side the same way I checked the passenger side, except for what is unique to the driver's side. First unique item, my brake fluid reservoir. I'm gonna make sure it's securely mounted. It's not cracked, broken, or leaking, and it's at the proper fill line. I'll also check the attached lines to make sure they're secured and they're not cracked or leaking. Next, I will come down here to my power steering fluid reservoir to make sure it's securely mounted. It's not cracked, broken, or leaking, and it's at the proper fill line or full, and that the attached lines are also secure and they're not leaking. Next, I'm gonna come up to my belt-driven items. My first belt-driven item, I'm gonna check my belt-driven alternator. I'm gonna make sure it's securely mounted. It's not cracked or broken. I'll make sure the attached lines are also secured and there's no excessive corrosion. I'll come down to my belt-driven AC compressor, making sure it's securely mounted. It's not cracked or leaking and that the attached lines are also secure and they're not leaking. I'll check my water pump, my belt-driven water pump, to make sure it's secure, it's not cracked or leaking. I'll also check the belt itself to make sure there's no more than one half inch of play and that the belt is not ripped or frayed or cracked. Next, I'm gonna come down to my dipstick, my engine oil dipstick, making sure it's at the proper fill line or full. Next, I'm gonna come down to my steering column. I'm gonna make sure it's not uh, broken on either end and that there is no more than one inch of play in the steering column. Next, I'll follow the steering column down to the steering gearbox. I'm gonna make sure it's securely mounted, it's not cracked, there's no leaks. I'll make sure the attached hoses are also secured and they're not leaking. I'm gonna come down here and check my Pittman arm, my Brad Pittman arm, and making sure it's securely mounted, it's not cracked or bent. I'll check to make sure the castle nut and cotter pin are in place and secure. I'm gonna check my linkage, my steering linkage, um, and the tie rod that cuts across here. I'm gonna make sure it, they're in place, they're not bent or broken, and that the other castle nut and cotter pin are in place and secured. That is what is unique to the driver's side. We are done with the engine compartment. Release the safety mechanism. Put the hood back in place.
So next I'm going to come down the passenger side of the bus. First thing I'm going to do is check my passenger door. I'll make sure it opens and closes properly. The hinges aren't cracked or broken or rusted. I'm going to check the glass on my doors to make sure none of it's cracked or broken and that the rubber gaskets around the windows are not ripped or torn, no chunks missing. I'll check the door gaskets that seal the door, making sure they're in place, they're not ripped, torn, no chunks missing. Next, I'm going to check my three clearance lights. I've got two amber and one red in the back. I'm going to make sure they're securely mounted, they're not cracked, broken. Next, I'm going to come down, I'm going to check all the windows on the side of the bus, making sure none of them are cracked or broken. I'm going to check my two emergency exit windows, making sure they are clearly labeled. I'm also going to check the reflective tape around the emergency exit windows, making sure the tape is secured, it's not ripped or torn or missing. Next, I'm going to keep coming down. I'm going to check my turn signal, making sure it's securely mounted, all the hardware is in place, it's not cracked or broken. I'm going to come down and I'm going to check the reflective tape around the entire length of the bus, making sure it's clean and clear, it's not ripped, torn or missing. I'm going to keep coming down. I'm going to check my two reflective dots. I've got an amber one and a red reflective dot. I'll make sure they're secure and in place. Next, I'm going to check my exhaust pipe. I'm going to make sure it's securely mounted. It's not cracked or leaking. Uh, it's not touching anything flammable, such as the fuel tank or the tires. I'm going to also check leaf spring mounts, my front and rear leaf spring mounts, making sure they're secure, they're not cracked or broken. I'm going to check my flat leaf springs, making sure they're not bent or broken, there's no scissoring. I'm going to check my two U-bolts, making sure they're secured and in place and they're not cracked or bent. I'm going to check my shock absorber, making sure it's in place, it's not, it's securely mounted, it's not cracked or leaking. I'll check the brake line and caliper making sure they're secured in place, they're not ripped or leaking. I'll check the brake rotor to make sure it's not cracked. There's no bluing that would indicate excessive wear. I'll check the pads, the brake pads, to make sure there's at least a quarter inch of pad remaining. I will check the inside rim and tire the same way I check the outside rim and tire. I will check the inside rim to make sure it's not cracked. Uh, or bent or broken. I'll check the inside uh, inside of the tire to make sure there's no abrasions, bubbles, or cuts. I'll check the top of my tire to make sure it's wearing evenly and that there's at least two 30 seconds of tread depth. I'll check the outside of my tire to make sure there's no abrasions, bubbles, or cuts. I'll check the outside of my rim to make sure it's not cracked, bent, no illegal welds. I'll check my lug nuts to make sure they're all in place. I'll check the threads to make sure there's no rust trails or shiny metal. That would indicate a stripped thread, stripped lug. I'll check my hub seal, make sure it's securely in place. It's not cracked or leaking. I'll check my valve stem to make sure it's straight, not bent or broken or leaking. I'll use that valve stem to make sure there's at least 100 PSI in the tires. I'll also check the bud spacing, the gap between the tires, the bud spacing, making sure there's no uh, debris stuck between the tires. I'll check the mud flap to make sure it's not ripped, torn, or missing. Next, I'll check my fuel system. I'll check the fuel door to make sure it opens and closes properly. It's not cracked or broken. I'll check the fuel cap to make sure it's secured. It's not cracked or leaking. I'll check my fuel neck make sure it's not cracked or leaking. I'll check the fuel tank, make sure it's secured and in place. It's not cracked or leaking. And I'll check to make sure that the cage around the tank is in place and it's not bent or cracked or missing. Next, I'll go to the back of the bus. I'll start at the top. I'll check my three clearance lights on top to make sure they're securely mounted. All the hardware is present. They're not cracked, broken, or discolored. I'll check my school bus reflective tape to make sure it's clean and clear. 
It's not ripped, torn, or missing. I'll go ahead and come down and check my emergency door to make sure it's clearly labeled. I'll check my amber warning lights and my red student stop lights, making sure they are securely mounted. All the hardware is present. They're not cracked, broken, or discolored. Next, I'll come down and I'll check the reflective tape around the emergency door, top and bottom. I'll also check the reflective tape around the back of the bus, making sure it's not ripped or torn or missing. Next, I'll check the windows on the back of the bus, making sure they're not cracked or broken. I'll make sure the seals around the windows are not ripped or torn. There's no chunks missing. So I'll check to make sure my emergency door opens and closes properly and that the hinges aren't broken or rusted. And we're good there. All right, next I'm gonna check my turn signals, my upper and lower tail lights, and my reverse lights. I'm gonna make sure they're all securely mounted, all the hardware is present, they're not cracked, broken, or discolored. Next, I'll check my red reflective dots on the back, making sure they're in place, they're not ripped or torn or missing. Next, I'll check my tag lights to make sure they're securely mounted, they're not cracked or broken. Coming on down, I'm gonna check my bumper, make sure it's security securely in place. All the bolts are present, it's not bent or broken. I'll check my two tow hooks to make sure they're securely mounted and in place, they're not bent or broken. I'll check my exhaust to make sure it extends past the bumper at least one half inch. Next, I'll check the unique items on the driver's side. I would check this side the same way I checked the other side, except for what is unique to this side. What is unique to the driver's side that we have to check. I'll check my drive shaft to make sure it's in place, it's not bent or broken. I'll check the drop hooks, making sure they're in place, they're not bent, broken, or missing. Next, I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna check the red student stop sign and stop lights, make sure it's in place, securely mounted, it's not broken. My lights are securely mounted, they're not cracked, broken, or discolored. So now I'll make my way inside the bus and I'll check my passenger items. First thing I'm gonna do is check my passenger stairwell, making sure that the steps are free of any debris, that the runner on the steps isn't torn or ripped or it could cause a trip hazard, anything that can cause a trip hazard. I'm gonna check my student handrails, making sure they're securely mounted, they're not cracked or bent, and there's nothing that could cause an abrasion cut on the hand. I'll check my loading light to make sure it's secure. All the hardware is present. It's not cracked or broken. I'm going to check my emergency triangles to make sure all three are in the enclosure, securely mounted to the floor. I'll check my fire extinguisher to make sure it's securely mounted to the floor and is properly charged. Next, I'm going to step up. I'm gonna check my first aid kit and my body fluid cleanup kits, making sure they're securely mounted and properly stocked. Next, I'll come over here and check my student mirror, making sure it's securely mounted, it's not cracked or broken. I'm gonna check my driver's seat to make sure it's securely mounted to the floor. It's not ripped or torn. There's no exposed foam or metal. Next, I'll check the seat belt, make sure it's bolted to the floor and that it's not ripped or frayed and it's also secured up here. I'm going to check the aisleway, making sure it's free of debris, no trip hazards. I'll check the runner to make sure it's uh, securely fastened to the floor. I'll check all my passenger seats to make sure none of the seats are ripped or torn. There's no exposed foam or metal and that all the seats are securely mounted to the floor. When I get to the back of the bus, I'm gonna check all my windows again, making sure none of them are cracked or broken. All the seals, none of the seals are ripped or torn. There's no chunks missing. I'm gonna make sure that the emergency door opens and closes again. Hinges aren't cracked or broken. 
Next, I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna check and make sure that all my passenger lights are securely mounted. They're not cracked or broken. Uh, all the hardware is in place. Next, I'm gonna come down and check all my windows again from the inside, making sure none of them are cracked or broken. I'm gonna check my four emergency exits, making sure they are clearly labeled and that the red handles are in place and secured. Next, I'm gonna check my rear emergency roof hatch, making sure it's secured and clearly labeled. Next, I'm gonna check the front uh, emergency roof hatch, making sure it's secured and clearly labeled. Next, I'm gonna turn the key to power mode, turn it back to power mode, and I'm gonna to go to the back of the bus and check and make sure my emergency door alarm works. The emergency door alarm does work. So next, turn that power off. Okay, so door, shut the door, put on my seat belt, start the engine after the ABS light clears and turn on my lights. Door, seat belt, start, lights, DSSL. First thing I do after I start the engine is I will do a brake check. First brake check I will do is my pedal test. I will apply firm pressure to the pedal and I will count to five, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005. The pedal remained firm, it did not go to the floor. So my pedal test, my hydraulics work. Next thing I will check is my emergency brake check. So I will, the emergency brake, make sure the emergency brake is on. I will put the bus in drive. I will let off the brake and I will rev it up to at least a thousand RPMs for the count of five, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005. Bus did not move, the parking brake held. The next test would be the service brake check or the pull forward test. You would release the brake, the bus is in drive, and I would give it a little bit of gas to get it up to at least five miles an hour, between five and 10 miles an hour. And then I would come to a st firm stop. And if the bus came to a smooth stop and the steering wheel did not pull left or right, my service brakes are good. Once you've done your brake check, you put the emergency, put the brake back on, put the bus in neutral. Now that the brake check is done, I'm gonna tell my story. Once you're done with the brake check, then we're gonna do a show and tell. Where the first thing I'm gonna do in my story, I'll talk about my visor. This is my sun visor. Keeps the sun out of my eyes. I'm gonna check my windshield one more time on the inside and we'll make sure there's no obstructions of my view. It's not cracked or broken. Come on down, I'll check my fans. They're mounted securely. Uh, they're not cracked or broken. I'll come down and check my wiper blades one more time from the inside. They're not ripped or torn or broken. Uh, then I'm gonna come on down. That's my rear air conditioner, my front air conditioner. I have a pedal adjuster switch that'll adjust the pedals up and down. I have a exterior check light switch which will in engage all the exterior lights. This is my shifter knob. It'll put the bus in gear, uh, reverse or drive. I'll come over here. I got a fuel gauge. Tells me how much fuel I have. I have an oil pressure gauge. Uh, tells me how much oil pressure I have and whether it's too high or low. This is my RPM gauge. Tells me how fast the engine is revving. I have a speedometer tells me how fast the bus is going. I have an engine temperature gauge, tells me if my engine is running too hot or not. I have a voltometer, 
tells me how much uh, volts my uh, alternator is putting out. It should be between 12 and 16 volts. So 14 is right in the middle. That's perfect. I have a transmission temperature gauge. Tells me how hot my transmission is running. It should be between 180 and 190 degrees. I have an odometer. Tells me how many miles I've gone. Keep coming across. I've got my headlights. Uh, switch turns my headlights on. I've got a dimmer switch for my panels. Uh, dims the panel. I have an interior intercom for talking to the students inside the bus. I have a two-way radio for talking to the bus barn. Here's an interior exterior switch for the intercom. These are my heater heater switches for the interior heat, uh, rear heat. I have a heat pump switch that circulates the uh, engine coolant to the rear heaters, keeps the heater hot for in-town usage. I have a diverter switch, fresh air or recirculating air diverter switch. I have another heater switch for the front heater. I have a uh, div uh, defrost and bus diverter switch. When it's on defrost, I'm gonna make sure my defrost works. I'm gonna check that. I have another diverter switch that'll divert from the front heat to the rear heat for this heater. My interior lights switch. My service door switch, it'll open my and close my doors. I have my master switch which I need to turn on for my amber warning lights and my red student stop lights. Turns those on. Turn the master switch off to turn it off. I have uh, my fan, my front fans here. I have my noise suppression switch for my railroad crossings. It kills all the noise, all the air conditioner and fans and the radio. I have my strobe light on top of the bus that runs 24 seven. I have a uh, defrost switch for my mirrors. It will de uh, defrost the mirrors on the outside if they're frosted up or frozen. I have a uh, AM FM radio here. I have my mirror switches that will adjust my mirrors, driver side and passenger side mirrors. Coming on down, this is my uh, emergency brake release handle. Uh, this is my steering wheel, my horn, which you already heard. I've got my turn signal switch here for changing, turning my turn signals. I got my hazard light uh, switch here. I've got my wiper blade switch here. I'll demonstrate the uh, washer fluid. Squirt some of that on there for you. Works pretty good. On this side of my steering column, I got my cruise control switch for putting the bus in cruise control or in cruise, setting the cruise. At the base of my column is my uh, steering wheel adjuster uh, lever for adjusting the steering wheel and my ignition, of course. Next, I will do a light check. So the first, I'm gonna use my light board up here to do a light check. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do check are my uh, headlights and my tail light, so I'll use my main light switch to toggle those off so the rear lights are working and I can see that the headlights are working. I'll check my high beams using my dash. Uh, the high beams, I can see them, plus the blue light came on. Next, I'm gonna use my left turn signal, checking the front crossover for my left turn signal in the rear. My right turn signal crossover and the rear is working. Uh, next, I will check my amber warning lights. Front and rear amber warning lights are working. Next, I'll check my uh, red student stop lights in the front and the rear. So I will crack my door to activate my red student stop lights and stop signs. So those lights are working. So I will turn that off. Next, I will check my brake lights. My brake lights are working in the rear. While my brakes are uh, brake pedal is depressed, I'll check my reverse lights. I'll put the bus in reverse 
and my reverse lights are working. Also, my reverse alarm is working. Good time to check that. I'll also check my hazard lights. So my front hazard lights are working. They're blinking. I can see them in the crossover mirrors. And I can see that the rear ones are working as well. So I will turn my turn signal on to cancel my hazard lights. If there's anything that I think I missed, now's the time to do it. I didn't miss anything, so I'm com I am done with my pre-trip, Mr. Examiner. I will honk.